Evening, everyone. My name is Bernard Canna. I'm the editor photographer of the website known as The Photo Pit. Over there to my right or left, depending on how you're looking at us tonight, uh, is Danny Mazio, who's the editor photographer of the website known as The Threshold. And with us tonight, special guest, vocalist of Nonpoint, Elias Soriano. Elias, how are you doing this evening? Good, man. Good, good. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for joining us. We really, truly appreciate you taking this, uh, this opportunity to be here with us tonight. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, our pleasure, our pleasure. So um, as you know, we've been talking mostly about the Blue Ridge Rock Festival during our live streams that we try to get every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. here. Um, we know that Nonpoint was supposed to be there in 2021, and unfortunately, you guys couldn't make it. Do you want to quickly tell, unfortunately, what happened at that time where you couldn't make that the festival with us? Uh, yeah, well, I, we were actually uh, going to make a, a trailer swap in Nashville. Um, and uh, as we were traveling through uh, the Tennessee mountains, we hit a dip uh, on a spot in the highway. Uh, the trailer hitch obviously hit the road, uh, snapped off, and uh, the trailer and all the gear went uh, flying into the Tennessee hillside. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, oh. it, it was, um, you know, luckily we had had uh, uh, really strong cases. Um, you know, apparently that was an area that uh, sees a lot of accidents uh, similar to that accident. Um, so we get, we were able to get a wrecker out there pretty quick and 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 help us get our stuff up. All right, excellent. And at least yeah. no one no one was severely injured, harmed, or anything along those lines. Yeah, no, no. Or... Yeah, everybody was good. Uh, it, it at the time there was two state troopers that were actually on the side of the road. Uh, making an accident report for another trailer that had just oh. come off the pitch on the same dip and uh the the trailer went barreling towards those uh state troopers so oh my gosh uh, luckily that missed them and and uh they nobody got hurt that's good good to hear good to hear yeah. so with with that in mind unfortunately you know i know you had a number of tour stops that had to be rescheduled a number of tour stops you know to be redone um so the fans could finally get out to see you and luckily we get to have you back now for 2022 nonpoint will come to play blue ridge rock festival which which when i saw that announcement i thought that was awesome and very pleased to see it um yeah, can you tell the yeah tell the fans what what are they expecting from nonpoint what should they be seeing from you guys that night that you're performing um, we're we're definitely going to keep it really heavy. Um, we just uh, went through the area. Uh, some of the people that missed us on on uh, uh, you know Blue Ridge last year, uh, and a couple of our shows uh, in the in the Maryland Virginia area. Uh, so we were able to go through there just recently, and and uh, you know the fans were were excited to see us, man. We're we're uh, we're definitely. Uh, um, we definitely have a fan base there and, and, and people that are, are constantly asking us to get out and, and, and tour out there. So, um, you know, to, to be a part of something like Blue Ridge is, is, is always good. Awesome. 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 Um, is there any, do you, so one of the things I noticed is, uh, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, but just recently your sophomore album has its 20th anniversary just passed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a couple of days ago, development um, uh, turned twenty. Uh, that is our, our our second record. Yeah, it was um, it was uh, uh you know, I, I was actually surprised. That I did an interview earlier uh, with someone overseas that had had a lot of very interesting questions to ask about that record. We we dove in pretty deep, so uh, um, <laughs> you know, I actually got to revisit uh, a little bit of the history and 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 some of the thinking. Uh, behind that record just recently so uh yeah it's awesome. it's a uh, happy birthday development for sure yeah very cool fantastic are, milestone yeah it is nice. are you expecting to pull any of the tracks off development to perform during like your next tour stops or you know possibly uh, at blue ridge yeah next run uh i i uh w we've been talking about putting one in there from uh development uh you know with so many records it's hard to fit uh everything in um you know, we got 10 records and, and we will have two EPs going. So you pick 12, you got to pick 14, 15 songs out of 12 records. Everybody kind of gets, you know, their their favorites. And a couple of our records have a couple favorites on them. So uh, we got to be, you know, picking. Yeah, I, I can definitely understand that it makes it uh, it makes it super tough. And, and especially when you have the fan faves, you know, the singles that everyone's expecting to hear. 
you know, it's yeah. kind of hard to say like, well, what else can we yeah. mix it in with? Because <laughs> we know we have well, we to got play the new stuff. Games. Yeah, we, we definitely have a plan on, uh, uh, you know, hitting the fans with a with a new song on the next run. So um, it's going to be, uh, it, you know, they'll they'll be able to gauge how things are going to be going from there because the the song we're about to drop is is going to be pretty aggressive. Oh, okay. When when do we I'm liking the sounds of that? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Uh, do you have a potential date? Um, no, we're looking at fall, probably around okay. fall. Yeah, yeah. We're we're uh, we're just got out of the studio um, with Chris Collier, and uh, you know did a couple songs, um, got a feel for the direction that we wanted to go, and uh, you know we'll be hitting hitting it again before the end of the year, and uh, uh, you know getting the EP ready. But um, that first one's ready to go. Awesome. All right. Sound, sounds good. I mean, I'll, I'll say if it's going to be anything like Ruthless, I, I think the fans will be pleased because that single was, I, I, was I think, hot. I think they're going to be surprised with this one. All right. All right. Sounds good. Well, we, we uh, I know that so everyone who's on the stream, thanks for joining us today. I will say that um, Elias has some limited time, so we, we do have to kind of keep it under 30 tonight. Um, so I would like to be able to have Elias answer some questions from the fans. So if those who are watching, if you have questions, pop them up in the comments. We'll uh, go ahead and start asking as we see them, and and Elias can uh, can answer them as they go. Um, Danny, do you have any questions you'd like to start us off with for Elias? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a loaded question in and of itself, Bernard. <laughs> you know, I, Elias, been been following you guys for you know twenty plus years at this point, so just to really appreciate you taking some time and hanging with us tonight. Thank you, thank you. Thank but um, you know. You, I think the first thing that kind of came through my mind, you're talking, you had an opportunity to really dive back into development and kind of what all was going through y'all when you were wrote that record. How is it looking back, you know, 10, 10 albums deep, singles, couple EPs that you will have had by the end of this year? I mean, what's it like kind of walking through memory lane, looking back at the progress that you've made through the records and really being able to, to focus some time and energy on a specific era of nonpoint? Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been a while since, um, you know, I've had my mind wrapped around that music and, and, and uh, you know, even, even looking back and trying to figure out what I was thinking, you know, and some of the lyrics uh, that I wrote at the time. Um, it's not exactly easy, but, uh, you know, it is definitely fun to, really hear the perspective of other people and um, you know, what they got from that record. You know, it was an, uh, an interesting time in, in our music. Um, it was an interesting time in music just in general. Um, things were shifting and moving really fast. Um, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was that time where you started to slowly see major labels start to shut doors. Um, and, uh, you know, labels starting to team up, um, going from, you know, 18 to 12 to basically three majors. And, yeah. um, you know, so it was, it, it was right, right as that shift was starting to happen. So it was, it was a pretty, um, it was a pretty rocky time for everybody. So I think, I think you can see that in the, in the record. That's awesome, man. It's, uh. Yeah, it's just it's been awesome to see you guys evolve with each record and kind of not just focus on what's clearly front and center for you guys, but really what's front and center for everybody. Just constantly relatable, um, you know, just track after track. You know, it's kind of what's kept you guys going from you know from a fan's perspective. So it's really it's cool well, to hear that. You know, they say music decorates time, and it's it's. Uh, you know, it, the easiest way to see where humanity and where, uh, you know, just uh, just where people's minds were at, at, at any particular time is all you got to do is pull up the 70s essentials or 80s essentials or, you know, 90s right. essentials, any of those essential uh, playlists and, and, and hear what people were talking about. And you'll, uh, you'll get a pretty good understanding of where everything was at. All right. It's Looks like we're starting to have some questions coming in. So Megan asked, 
do you like to perform festival shows more or club like shows more? Um, you know, it really depends on on the audience. Uh, you know, that's the the weight of a festival audience is felt in the room. Um, it's it's a it's 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 a different animal altogether. Um, it's sort of like the difference between roller skating and um, you know riding a motorcycle. You know you're 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 exposed to the elements and you're moving fast, but one's definitely a a, a different animal stuck between your legs that you're trying to control. Um, but uh, but you know like you are on roller skates or roller blades or. Uh, how you on a skateboard or even a line bike or whatever you're on that you feel like that little bit of uh, speed and freedom. That's, that's, that's what a club show feels like. It's like a, it's like riding on a jet ski, you know, it's safe, it's fun and you can't help but smile the entire time. I mean, nobody, nobody frowns on a fucking jet ski. Yep. That's true. It's a, it's a great uh, analogy. Yeah. Let's see here. So John asked, so you have a new single coming out in the fall. Are we going to see more singles from non-point or do we have an entire album that may be coming soon uh we're gonna keep we're staying on the ep uh you know as we stated in our documentary when we uh came out of the pandemic um we're definitely gonna do the series of eps um there is a full body of work coming um but the reason that we're doing this ep format is so that way uh we can give each song a little bit more attention throughout the cycle um and you know we have such an extensive catalog. We 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 miss a lot of the songs that people want to play. So uh, we're in no rush to write uh, yep. another twenty songs anytime soon. Um, right. We have plenty of music to play. Yeah, that that makes total sense. And like honestly, when we had talked, I think geez, like months ago when we had an interview right as Ruthless was coming out, you we had seen you even knew that from a studio perspective, if you were with a record label with Ruthless, that would have had maybe what, like a six week cycle. And then the next single would have been right out the door, right behind it. And said, Ruthless just went on forever. It felt like as you guys pushed that as far as you can go, which I really love to see, you know, yeah. that, that gained a lot of traction and it kept up for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, we were blessed with that song, for real. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see here. Um, do you ever get to catch watching other bands at festivals on the day you perform uh, i try to i definitely try to um there's you know that handful of bands that i definitely never miss um uh depends on the festival depends on our uh, on our um on our set time uh i like to be ready for the show and i like to to put on a good show for the people that are waiting to see us so um if that means that i gotta hide out until at least we play um, once we play, the gloves are off and, and, right. and I'm, I'm, I'm out and about and, and, and right. trying to meet up with as many of my friends as I, I possibly can. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, that that one hour is important to me. So I, I try to to make sure that I'm I'm 100 percent. OK, that's fair. Could you name like maybe one or two of the bands that you or, do you say are like never miss? If they're uh, on the I, same festival as you? Yeah, if I, I, I'd never miss like somebody like Circus Survive. And as of recent, um, Bands like Dropout Kings and uh, even the guys in Varsity uh, that that we just went out with were were, were fun to watch, um, but uh, you know any of the classics, uh, you know we we're we're um, I'll, I'll never miss Limp Bizkit if Limp Bizkit is is on stage. Those guys, uh, <laughs> those guys put on uh, probably one of the most fun, just chill shows uh, that that's going on right now from the from the old school crowd. So thank um, you. That's a couple. That's they a couple. do. Thank yeah. Thanks for those. Those are good. All good ones too. I just recently uh I got to cover the first tour stop because they started in Tampa, and that was just awesome. such a show. I was like I I was like I'm good. Thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic performance. Love biscuit. Yeah, biscuits. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Courtney is asking, are there any plans for you guys to go back to New Orleans again? Because that's where she is. <laughs> so she. Uh, yeah, to actually, uh, in, in the fall we we will be going through. Um, we're about to start announcing dates here shortly. So uh, definitely doing uh, the second half of the country. We just got through uh, central all the way out, west coast, southwest. Um, so plans are going 
clockwise all the way through the Northeast, uh, through the South, through Texas, and then uh, back through the Midwest. Okay. Very cool. Looking, so I'll we'll be looking forward to those we'll store see. dates too. Some, sometime in fall, honey. Sometime in fall. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. With, um, if you listen to streaming sites, assuming if you do, um, mm -hmm. what is right now the bands you are listening to? <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm taking a very uh, relaxed um, uh, uh, downtime. Uh, my playlist for my downtime has been very classic rock. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of yacht rock is has been uh, getting played. Um, a lot of '90s, '80s, '90s, and 2000 hip hop. Um, I've been going backwards. I've been going backwards. There's um, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So I, I'd, uh, you know, it, it really it, it inspires me forward. Um, listening to some of the old. Uh, old tracks that, that really, um, that I used to listen to with, with no criticisms. Um, it was just, uh, you know, putting it in and, and definitely puts me in a different mood. So I'm all okay. about the mood lately. That's fair. I love that. Love that. Let's yeah. see here. Uh, Aiden's asking, what was your favorite video to record and why? Favorite video to record? That's a tough one with the long catalogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a pretty, um, that's a pretty tough one. Um, favorite video to record. I'd probably say it was probably the most ambitious one that we did, but the ruthless video that we just did is pretty, uh, was pretty fun because we, we kind of, um, you know, we played with more of a of a theme and a and a uh, a concept, right. and a, a, instead of just you know mostly performance, um, you know, we got to fool around with you know fake blood and and you know uh, uh, you know it was it was it was a fun video to shoot. So I I'd say up up to date, I'd say that this is probably the most fun I've had. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. Do you have, uh, Bobby's asking, did you have a favorite band that you've toured with? I mean, I'm sure you have a few. Like what bands stood out for you as being your faves to tour with? I can't say a favorite just because I would, I would single too many people out. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> but some of, some of my favorites that I've ever toured with, um, you know, uh, love the Alter Bridge guys. Um, absolutely adore the guys in Seether. Um, when I got to do this uh, sound wave dates with the Slipknot boys, um, it was fun running into those boys and, and, and chatting with them. Um, uh, Disturbed was great to tour with. Um, and, uh, oh, P.O.D. The those boys guys. In, the boys in P.O.D. Um, I, I really like touring with people that, that are, um, that are about that chill, like home, you know, making the road feel like home and feel like family. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of, 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 you know, you know, touring like adults. It's fun. It's fun when, when you get to, you know, you know, have fun on, on good times, but every once in a while you just want to chill and just walk around and catch the sights and, you know, be a fucking tourist every once in a while. And, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, bands and the, the 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 dudes that uh i've named are, are at that point in their life where we're just like hey man, let's go get a good cup of coffee and fucking catch this <laughs> up we gotta play the show when, when's the next time we're gonna be in this town so so uh you know we've uh we've already uh seen it in a in a in a hazy fog it's yeah. in full color that's, that's really cool to hear it's yeah. just really cool to hear and, and honestly, like when you, you mentioned POD and I just, as soon as you said that, I was like, your two bands to me have such similar, almost like-mindedness around the fans, around their, you know, stage performances, the way that, you know, the attitude you come with music and how you, you know, love in life. It's like, as soon as you said that, I was like, oh yeah, I see this. Like it just clicks. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. POD and Nonpoint. Yeah, right there. Yeah, chilling, having a couple of beers and, and, and. You know, one of one of my uh, one of my favorite 
uh, Thanksgiving stories uh, was out of a Dollar General. Uh, we had Thanksgiving dinner that we had to buy out of a Dollar General in the middle of nowhere fucking Texas uh, uh. with the POD guys. And it was, it was, uh, it was, um, it was probably the most fun that I've had on a, on a, on a Thanksgiving away from home. And it was, it was, it was because of the company. I love it. I love it. That that's a great story. I love that. You can't beat that. I mean, that's 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 the stories that kind of keep everybody going, it right? It's cheese, not. It was it was uh, cheese balls, hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> what else was it? It was uh, it was uh, it was fried bologna. We we did it all. It was crazy. We did it right. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you had fun, it was memorable, right? I mean, that's what matters. On Thanksgiving, it, that's all about family at that point. Who cares what the dinner is? Indeed, you're going to be eating Twinkies and everyone's, you know, as long as you're happy. <laughs> there was happy enough, and fear, enough yeah. fears and enough smiles. That's all it that matters. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Um, Christina wants to know, is there a favorite song or two, doesn't matter which genre, that you just can't help when you hear it that you have to sing along? Favorite song that I love to sing along to. Um, uh, man, that's a that's a tough one. Um, I'd say probably anything. Um, I'm I'm a sucker for like Pink Floyd and and like Prince and um, uh, but like you know in the same breath I I like you know Christopher Cross and. Uh, James Taylor and you know uh, uh, Black Sabbath and um, Led Zeppelin. You know I'm I, like I said I'm a, I'm a classic rock kind of guy. So uh, anything classic rock, you know, hits the radio. I probably know it. Okay. So I'm probably that's a nice that. little mix of uh, I love the variety it really, of it really music. Is. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, it, you know everybody everybody kind of. Um, Everybody gets a taste of their parents, I think, yeah. in, their, in their musical uh, upbringings and in and, and, and young discovery of music. You kind of, uh, you kind of pick out what you like in your parents' stuff. And luckily, my parents listen to good fucking music. <laughs> That's awesome. I was going to say, I don't think my, I didn't think I got mine from my parents at all because they weren't big music listeners, which I find oh, hilarious. Yeah, parents, but it was all, uh, it was all Commodores, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh uh lionel richie prince uh weather report spira oh. gyra um you know uh michael mcdonald Tubi brothers I, oh I, my I, gosh it's, you're hitting my was, heart yeah, yeah yeah my my house my house had good music in it yeah sure. that's all good stuff september comes on and i just can't i have to stop and sing along that's yeah. that's like one of my tunes right from <laughs> earth wind fire it's like, they're coming to town too. They're coming to Tampa soon. So I'm excited about that. I know guys, it's totally off my normal yeah, stuff yeah, that I yeah. listen to, yeah. but I love it. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I can't re I can't ask the question that they're asking straight, but I'll modify it because we don't want YouTube if I post this to go, wait, that's a paid promotion for something. So okay. <laughs> you have a favorite food you like to eat when you're on the road? favorite food i like to eat when i'm on the road um you know you're always you're always on the hunt for the best damn taco um tacos are are normally a safe bet um and normally i can get really really good tacos on the road uh so tacos normally um you know a go to but if not it's it's really about finding good coffee and pastries and i know oh. that's not, I'm, okay. follow me there because because the coffee shops normally have really good pastries and if you get good coffee you got to eat something with it um so uh that's that's normally a a, a good hunt as well as okay. is it's hunt for good coffee oh i like that i could see that i can i could try with that are you big on guava do you like guava pastries oh yeah i love guava yeah yeah guava. i'm puerto rican come on as am I. So, I, I that's what I was raised on. Yeah, we, 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 we was waiting like, for that, Bernard. Who was waiting yeah. for that? <laughs> Whole thick slices of guava gel. My grandmother yes. would just give me in between two pieces of cracker. Yeah, there you go. I love it. 
it was it's funny enough one of the this is this is kind of weird to say not a paid promotion youtube leave me alone um but one of the best places i've actually found it was at a supermarket bait supermarket bakery at win dixie yeah. they make some of the yeah. best guac i'm like it blows wow. my mind i don't get it i completely yeah. don't get it yeah. like go figure but there they it is it out. <laughs> yeah it just out. like just go figure that one. Uh, let me see. I'll get you one more because I know you got to get going here. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm finding. Hang on. We're finding. So um, Aiden would like to know um, for Nonpoint's performance at Blue Ridge Rock Festival, is there going to be anything special planned from Nonpoint that day? Uh, we will be playing a new song. So. Okay that's that's probably as special as you're gonna get so that um, i think the fans will I, love that. i mean i'm sold <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> i i think they'll be happy to hear it i think i'm, okay. I'm I, it's been a while since i've been uh i mean i was excited about ruthless but this one this one's pretty crazy this is all right be awesome yeah. new song all right so there you go have it blue ridge fans will uh non-point will new be song. forming during their set a new song new music so get ready just what two two three months away three months almost there yeah. we're almost there less, less than right. that now yeah exactly so anyway um but uh, those on the stream sorry but unfortunately elias has to leave us um so thank you elias for taking the time to uh come on to the live stream and hop on with us and thank you for uh, talk about guys. everything that's coming up for blue ridge you know if uh, if anytime whenever you guys drop that new single if you want to come back again to talk about it we're happy to have you back um and if there's anything else that you you know want the fans to know we know we have tour dates coming soon so um, we'll see. As soon as we see those, I'll make sure that the photo pit gets those up and out there for the no fans doubt. to see. All oh, right. we got some That's dates the... in July uh, and some dates in August as well. So uh, if you go to uh, nonpointstore.com, it's got all of our uh, VIPs and all the ticket links and everything that you need. Uh, and all the dates are there. So it's it's the one-stop shop for all things. Stop. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. And um, do you, I guess I know they're going to ask because the majority of people are I'm from the Virginia area. Do you have any stops in Virginia on this run? You already you already passed through that area, correct? Uh, we passed uh, uh, briefly, but um, it, it we're definitely coming through again in the fall. Okay, so. they they go fans, so they'll be coming back up in that way when the tour dates get announced. Indeed, Perfect. indeed. So. All right, Music, new dates. Good. Couldn't be happier, Elias. Thank Very you. Fun. Thank yeah, you. Guys. All right. thank you. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you much, Elias. And uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, we'll be back again on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. We will have uh, another special guest coming on board. So stay tuned for that announcement. Um, yeah, because, you know, we'll see who else we can get to come on and talk about Blue Ridge, talk about whatever bands are going and uh, go from there. But Elias, thank you for your time tonight. We greatly appreciate it. Everyone, um, we'll be back again on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time to uh, talk all things Blue Ridge and artists. Thank Thanks, you much, guys. you guys. Have a good night.